I'm Kendall from the Very Human Collective and I'm going to show you an activity that I use quite often actually um, on those days when feelings and thoughts and someone is just spinning around so much that I actually don't know what I'm feeling or what I'm thinking or where I'm feeling it in my body or what is going on for me and this is a way of sort of separating it all and making a map on a page that I can look at and go oh yeah <laughs> okay that um, which I find very helpful. It's also a really good self-regulating thing to do. Sometimes when I'm all over the place, it's actually a way to bring me back in and to just focus on the drawing and on the making of this as much as the information that I'm getting from it. And the funny thing about this, we're gonna be working with the body, but you don't actually have to be able to feel your body to do this. Um, I say that because I've only recently, after lots of therapy, learned to feel my body. And yet this is a tool that I've been using for years. So I'm not really sure what the psychology of that is, but I definitely found it anchoring. I definitely found it a way of connecting with my body, possibly when I couldn't connect with my body. Um, I think in the past I would more possibly guess where that was in my body, which is better than no body thinking, right? Um, or maybe I was getting snippets and I was able to put it on the page, but it definitely gave me a more embodied sense of myself by doing this um, when walking around just being myself wasn't giving me that at all. So all you need is big paper. I use A3 in um, Australian standards. You don't need anything fancy um, and some textures um, or markers. It doesn't have to be black. I actually play with colors. You, because often, I don't know about you, but I, the color, how I'm feeling in that day, the color speaks to me a lot too. You don't have to be a great artist for this. I literally just, it kind of looks like one of those, you know, police dead body things, somewhere between that and a gingerbread man for me. Um, that one's got very long legs. Oh dear. Okay, so as I'm talking to you, this one's very Gumby-like. <laughs> um, you know, I have made some before. So I made a red one and I've made a green one and I've made a black one. Um, I also played with a bit of a body shape um, when I was feeling a little bit pear shaped one day. It can be your body. It can just be a body if that feels too triggering or too close to home. It really doesn't matter. Um, Sometimes I just like to sit and draw these things when I just need to be mindless and then I have a pile of them and I pick the color of that day. That's another option. Let's go with green today. I like to use oil pastels. Why? Because they're just dreamy to work with and if I'm trying to self-regulate through an exercise, lovely. They're also something that you can pick up anywhere. So in the children's section of your local Kmart or Walmart or whatever, you will find these. You will find these in dollar stores. You will find these all over. There are kitty versions. You do not need professional fancy versions for this exercise. Um, and they blend together and mush together in such a nice way that I just like to use them. Now remember, we're not trying to create a work of art, although it may end up looking like that. Yours might, mine never have. But we're trying to create like a diary record, just where we are in that moment. Nobody else ever needs to see this. So it doesn't need to look like anything. It just needs to tell you and be something that you can look at and go, aha. On days when I'm really traveling bumpy, I might do this two, three, four, five times, and then it'll give me a map of where I am in the day. It's also nice to kind of do one every day, uh, make it a practice. Whatever works for you. You might do it once and never do it again. You might find it something you do a hundred times. Let's just have fun. So what I start with, I like to do my centering. For me, that's always breathing in for four counts, holding for five, out for six. So hold two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six. It just gives me a sense of being present. Um, do that as many times as you like until you feel that you're here. If you never feel that you're here, that's fine. Just keep going with the art and that'll soon tell you something too. What we start doing is just trying to think like, what am I feeling today? What am I, what's going on for me today? And it might be something um, for me, for example, today, my left knee's a little bit hurty as I walk. So I might take a red and sort of go, okay, am I gonna mirror this now? 
gonna talk back to me, I'm gonna go my left knee is a bit wanky, wonky. So I might put a red thing in my left knee. Um, I'm actually feeling quite optimistic today, which is fun. So this doesn't always have to be a deep and dark thing. This can actually be just a beautiful way to check in with yourself. So I'm feeling quite optimistic today. So I'm gonna put like a bit of yellow. I don't know why I'm putting that in the headspace, but for me, I wanna put it in my headspace and I feel like I wanna put some orange with it too. Almost like a, like a beautiful sort of sunset kind of thing. I don't know, a sunrise. No, sunrises are pink, aren't they? I'm gonna put that in the head. For me, I feel things most deeply here in my solar plexus. That's a place I always come to, which on this person I might put over here. Um, today, believe it or not, I'm feeling a lot of fear. Fear around making these videos, fear around showing my art to other people, fear about putting myself into the world. And so fear for me is always a bit gunky um, and it's heavy. I'm gonna use this dark blue and I'm just gonna put like a, a thing there for myself. Now I'm just doing blotches. You can draw things if you want to. Um, but you don't have to. I had a lovely encounter with a girlfriend this morning after I dropped my kids at school and that was really lovely. And so I'm actually going to be a bit cheesy and draw a nice heart because it was nice. I felt loved in that moment, which is something that I don't often allow myself. So I'm going to put that there today. Um, I've definitely got a feeling today. Today's a good day for me. You've got me on a good day. Um, I'm actually feeling like a lot of growing is happening for me at the moment and it's exciting growing. And so I sort of want to represent that with a kind of leafy, <laughs> what is this, kind of leafy plant that's just growing out of me. Maybe I'll put one of my favorite flowers in the whole wide world is a sunflower. Um, you don't have to stay in the lines, by the way, just in case. Thing. And this plant, that's a bit of a dark green for something that's really exciting. If I can, this is the wonderful thing with oil pastels, is you can just come back in and you can just add to things and you can give things different life and different energy. You know how leaves sometimes even have a bit of yellow in them, don't they? So maybe put, if you use grainy paper with more of a tooth to it, you will be able to layer more pastel in. So that's the thing. What did I say? Sunflower. Ooh, yeah. So I'm just going to do it like this because... You know, that's a sunflower. And it has a bit of that black speckly thing in the middle, doesn't it? Do I even have black though? I feel like I don't know. Maybe this. Maybe this will work. Yeah, there we go. A sunflower. Kind of. It's a bit dark. But um, maybe I'll put some edges in there to give it some definition. It's a defined sunflower. So that actually feels exciting for me. Um, I've got a few worries going on. There are a few things that are weighing on me. And so I will represent that. I'm not going to ignore it. I used to ignore these things. How do I represent that? It's kind of like a brownie red, I think. And I want to put that in my shoulders. Just kind of feeling a bit, a bit like there's some weight. And maybe I'll give it some red as well, because you know it's a bit smarting weight, right? A bit weight. There's some worries. My son had me up in the middle of the night and he had some worries, and then that makes mummy's worry, right? Um I'm feeling grounded today, which is exciting. <laughs> If you spend more time with me, you'll discover that that's not a given, nor a particularly regular. So I'm going to put some of the brown of the grounded, and I'm going to kind of let that I'm going to create it in a way where I feel like I'm in the earth. Is that? <laughs> I don't think that that necessarily looks like it, but it doesn't matter because I understand what I'm trying to say. I am at one in the earth. I am grounded, right? And I'm feeling connected today. So... That's kind of a, a good one. Um, somehow that makes me feel connected. Um, I'm feeling heard today. I'm actually having a really good day. I will show you some pictures of ones that I've done of this that are not such good days. I'm having, so you're not put off appeal, you have to be wonderful. Someone recently told me that the throat throat chakra is wanting to be heard and that there's, I think it's blue actually, but for some reason, feels pink for me today. I'm going to put it in the throat. Um, my head, I have to admit, no matter what kind of day I'm having, gets a bit cluttered. It gets over. So I have that sunny spot in there. <laughs> and oh my goodness, overthinking, ruminating, it never goes away. So I'm just putting all of that in there today. Um, had a bit of a churning stomach today. Obviously, there's anxiety, but I haven't quite worked out what that is. 
but it's churning in my stomach. So I'm just gonna put that around my sunflower in the stomach area. Um, my arms and hands, I'm feeling open today. I'm feeling light. So maybe I'll do that in a, oh, God, this is this lovely, mm, it's running out. I'm gonna miss it when it's gone. Sort of like a, I don't know, like, <laughs> uh, this looks more like stab wounds, but anyway. Uh, for me, it's, I'm feeling kind of light. I'm feeling, it's part of my growing. Can I put a leaf or a flower in there? Can I put something that, maybe I need a bit of yellow to bring that out a bit more. And that is this moment, because I will say, uh, you know, it's funny, as I'm talking to you and I'm noticing, so I'm scanning as I'm doing this, even though I'm talking to you, and I'm noticing that my jaw is clenching. So I'm telling you that I'm feeling quite good today and everything's going really well today, but my jaw is clenching. So, you know what, I'm going to be artistic now and I'm going to do like a bolt, like a, well, it looks more like weights for exercise. And I'll see how, but I'm going to put those, and I don't know why they're in purple, but that was the color I felt. So I'm going to put my jaw in, in that area. Um, but the, yeah, the jaw, what else am I feeling if I scan? You know, it's funny, I'm telling you that I've got a churny feeling with this fear and I'm telling you I'm fine, but as I'm scanning, so I'm realizing there's actually like quite a sore spot right there that I'm not liking very much. Um, and my grounded feet are feeling a little bit numb. So I'm gonna use gray for that. So I'm feeling grounded, but my feet aren't. That's interesting. Hmm. And I'm feeling like a drawing feeling down here. I don't know what that is, but um, it's a bit unpleasant. Well, now I'm focusing on all the unpleasant things. That's okay. That's okay. We need to. Um, for the longest time, I would ignore all of those things because I thought if I ignored them, I'd make them go away. But they don't go away. <laughs> In actual fact, it took me a long time to learn that I have to stay with them. My therapist always says this thing, how much pain is too much pain? Well, hmm, ask me tomorrow. Um, and for me right now, that's enough for me. I feel like that's a picture I can see my growth feeling. I can see that sunflower, which is just something that I love. So it feels really nurturing in my growth feeling. I can see my anxiety. I can see that pain, but I'm not really sure what that is. I can see the drawing down. I can see my groundedness, but I can also see that my feet are numb. So there's something in that. I can see this openness in here with a kind of like exciting energy. I can see the weight on my shoulders. I can be reminded, no matter how today goes, of that beautiful loving moment with my friend. My solar plexus, the fear. Um, but I might, you know what, I might actually come back and just put a little bit of, what would be a color of sort of a hope color? Maybe orange is a very growth day. I'm gonna put that around the fear because you know what? I made this video, I've done it. I was scared, but I did it. So the fear is still there, but I'm gonna put something around it. I can feel, I can recognize that I'm wanting to be heard, that I'm wanting to speak out, that I'm wanting to be myself, I guess. Um, Cause I forget that when things get tough, the weight on my shoulders, the jaw clenching that I noticed, I can see that in there. I can recognize that there's still a lot of thinking and so on going on, but there's this optimism today. And, oh, and my knee, that's hurting me, which is telling me something and this feeling of connectedness. So I can look at this and remind myself. So if I start, if you're anything like me, you can sense often very, very quickly. Um, let me turn that so that you can actually see that. It's not hard art, people, but it's definitely telling me a lot. And this is something that I can now turn to. 20 minutes from now, I could be in a whole other place, right? Or something could trigger me or set me off. Or I dissociate. So that's another thing that happens. This is something I can come back to. If I do dissociate, I can come back to this when I come back around. It won't bring me back. However, if I'm loose enough in the association to think of doing this, this is actually something that will bring me back. That's a hit and miss for me. Um, but it's something that I can come back to if my thoughts start spiraling and I start losing sense of where I am today, I can come back and remind myself and sort of go through this and go, am I still some of these things? Can I reconnect with some of these things? And if I can't, and if it feels really foreign, start again, get another piece of paper, start again. 
Sometimes it's nice to have one that you just grab. Sometimes it's nice to draw from scratch. What does my body shape feel like in that moment? I have drawn these before where I don't finish the legs because I can't feel them, right? Um, I have done ones before. Let me show you while we're at it where I've, I've represented things like that weighted feeling. So this is not what I'm feeling now, but like you can come in and really color it in. You don't have to just make little bits and pieces. You can actually give it um, and both sides don't need to be the same because we're not always feeling balanced and that's something really important to notice we don't like balance is something we're often trying to achieve but <laughs> if you're anything like me you're failing at it um so i can make a mess sometimes i just feel messy and it's like part of me feels messy and part of me just feels hurting and that can separate that i'm just going to show you without necessarily meaning anything um, in the sense, what happens if you start linking with oil pastel? Why I like them so much is I can bring these colors in and I can actually cover my whole person. So this pink color for me is like a real sense of vibrancy. Um, and you know, it can coexist with pain. And that's something I'm learning that I can actually be vibrant and alive and in pain. But, you know, this is actually, I'm drawing you my, um, what did we say on Friday? I'm drawing you my Tuesday. <laughs> this is what I was on Tuesday. Um, so I'm drawing you that right now. And on Tuesday, I felt, oh, the weight of the world was very, it wasn't just a little bit, oh, there's my black, it was dark. So where's my blue in there? And it hurt. Um, and on Tuesday, I actually didn't feel like I had anything i cut these off because i didn't feel like i could do anything in that moment so i sort of for me the arms go with action just for me it might be something very different for you but to me they go with action um and on tuesday i'm not sure really how i would have represented my head i'm trying to think back that's probably not very smart i should do it in the moment um but certainly the times when i've done this where i've crossed my head off and you're welcome to do that sad but you're welcome to do that because that allows you to understand that you just can't go there or your head is really separate from your body that day or what's happening in your head is just too painful to even recognize that happens too you don't have to put color everywhere you don't have to put things everywhere sometimes leaving it empty is just as telling as leaving it full you might do another piece where there's just one tiny thing. I know um, there was one day where I thought it was quite clever <laughs> of myself. I was feeling really dark. I was really desperate. And I just had this black and I didn't even want to do anything. And all I did is there was a glimmer of hope. Like I had a sense of hope. And I literally just sat there with my little thing and just sort of did this hope thing. And then I sat with the rest of the drawing and I just colored it in. And that in itself is such a calming activity. Just color it in. And if you want to change the color at some point, you can, but you know what? You don't have to. And you can go darker. It's actually quite dreamy. I would recommend on the days that you're feeling particularly hard, like it's really a bumpy ride and you really want to regulate that you do turn to these pastels. They're fantastic. Can you see they're just they are very regulating can you see how you can play with textures you can play with patterns another thing you can do if you really want to get spicy is you can grab um a palette knife which can also just be a butter knife um and you can kind of cut into it okay it's not my palette knife spinning so it's not working really well but you can sort of cut into it and you can make um markings and so on if you if you feel you would like to do that so there we have a representation you kind of have my week this does work really nicely in watercolor as well but I find that's too hard to set up um, when I just need to do it in the moment so but you can I might make a video quickly and show you what that would look like with watercolor so you have some sense of that it does get a bit messier so it depends if you can handle that in the moment um, but do try doing this see what it does Maybe give it a week. I like to do that. I like to go, okay, just for one week. Can I just try something each day for one week and see what it does? Um, 
set a special time in the day just grab it when you want to like i said some days i do it hundred like five six seven eight times sometimes I've, i have had days where i've done this on the hour because i've just felt that lost and i have no idea how to anchor myself and i've some and i've ended up with completely different figures but you know that's something fantastic to be able to look at and understand where i'm at um, I have the benefit, maybe you do too, of having a therapist. So if I really didn't understand a lot of the stuff, I could bring it in and talk that through. Or maybe you have a trusted friend that could look at it with you. Or it's just something that you can reflect on for yourself. So I hope this is helpful. Um, I have no name for it, but um, I know you definitely can go to town. I mean, you could turn this into almost a Zen Tangle thing and uh, I have actually created ones before I feel, gee, that would look great on the wall. Do I want to share that much of my soul? I don't know. But then that's the other question. People don't know that. So you could, or maybe you want to. Anyway, have fun. Give it a go and keep watching the space for more videos of fun, easy, accessible, regulating and self-exploring art activities that we can do together. Okay. I hope your day is a good one.